along. <laughs> it's pretty good, eh? <laughs> I'm just gonna prop myself right up over there and uh, work on some videos and just sit here looking at fire and soaking it. So right now I'm gonna make a cup of coffee. It was pretty productive, but now I feel like I've got itchy feet and I want to get out, do some walking around. I'm gonna go find this spring hooter that I can hear. Boom, 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 and see if I can get him on camera. And um, I'm gonna forage for some greens as well, make it a little salad. Dusty. It's a dusty van. He's gonna be up there in one of these trees, but he might he might not be. He could be down low too, but usually they're up high. I'm pretty sure he's straight up in this tree. One of these two trees right there. Must be hopping around because the sound's getting reprojected in different directions. <sighs> ah, the bugs. I think I'm gonna leave this guy, guys. Uh, he's uh, way up there. Okay, time to go for a little walk. So hopefully I'm gonna find some um, some fireweed. This is it right here. So these are the young ones. And at this point you can just eat them like this and uh, they're quite tender. So I can probably break it off right about there where it breaks off evenly. And then this is, this is good to eat right here. It's got a um, kind of a nice sort of. It's almost got a tanginess to it, if you will. So it's almost like there's a little bit of tangy, tangy flavor. Sometimes you can find like big patches of that stuff. It grows really well in like cut blocks and stuff like that, which there are some above me, but a lot of them are treated in quite heavily at this point. So you know, like this one here, it's all more or less Christmas tree sizes. So when the conifers get that big, it crowds out the light for the undergrowth. But after a freshly cut, cut block, the first couple of years, a lot of fireweed will pop.
I don't feel overly confident about fishing on a dock like this. There's a lot of activity on it usually. Um, and if there's like, you know, fish that's habitually using a particular area, chances are that it's been pressured or it's been caught a couple times and it's kind of a little bit more aware. But, and I have a feeling that it's actually pretty deep. I might have to readjust my, my float. I have to go somewhere shallower. It just drops off really fast. Like there's some big trees that are almost standing straight up. I'm gonna try something different this time. I'm gonna cast it out without a bobber and just let it get down deep. It's so wobbly out here. I think I'm going to try a shallower spot. It's also noisy out here. Maybe I just go catch some frogs. I don't even know if we can do that in BC, but when I was, uh, when I was a kid, I used to catch and eat frog legs. They're pretty good. It's a smaller access point, but give it a go. Might be a bit tricky. that's a little bit too tight and there's a big tangle of branches down in the water there almost lost my hook but I'm gonna try a couple more spots this is more like it Well, I was trying this spot, guys, and I uh, got a snag out there. There's a lot of deadfall in this particular lake. I haven't seen any fish jumping. I'm getting eaten alive by bugs, mosquitoes mainly. There's some black flies too. Yeah. It's pretty though, really pretty.
nearly fell in there. Ooh. Well, I just talked to those campers and they were saying that in all the times they've been coming here, they've never seen a fish jump in that lake. And I was like, huh, <laughs> maybe I won't be coming back here after all, I don't know. Unless they get a really good tip. Whew. Grab a couple of these. I don't need many. That's more than enough to go with what I got. Once you uh, find what you're looking for, it doesn't take a lot of energy to get it. Anyway, fire fireweed is uh, it's good for your digestive tract. Generally speaking, it reduces inflammation and bloating. It's the young leaves at the top of the plant in early spring that taste the best. I can still hear that guy talking about the hooter. These are spruce tips, and I'm going to pull them off this trail side because eventually it's going to grow into the trail anyway. So by harvesting this side, doing a little trail maintenance at the same time. Okay guys, I got my shower stuff here. So I got some hose here. And um, this is silicone. I bought it for a particular reason, for heat, but I'm not gonna use that part of it today because it's still under development. But I got that. And this would be my water bag, I think so. But I, I don't need the water bag today. It's my water pump right here. I just put it on like that. It's got a 12 volt connector on it. That'll plug into here. This can drop down into that. It's gonna work, you guys. This is cool. <laughs> Even got my phone propped up so I can shave. Uh, be warned, you shouldn't drop your soap while you're in the backcountry. You have to worry about the Sasquatch if that happens. Getting a mirror would be better, but I think I got it all. This is a first for me to use this kind of thing out here. I'm gonna find something that is better. I mean, this is natural soap. It's probably, you know, it's not as bad as some of the other soaps, but it's, it's not great because even a natural soap is going to change the chemistry of the soil that it's going into. I'm away from fish populations right now, but eventually it'll affect fish, plants, small snails and slugs, things like that. That's really refreshing though. What a difference. <laughs> Weed. All right, let's put that in there. And dandelion that I got. I'm gonna add my tea. Mm. Yeah, I really like that. That's quite a nice 
nice flavor. It's really, it's like piney, but it's it's mild and it's it's just yeah, it tastes really good. It's really fresh. There's my dandelion and fireweed salad. And my tuna fish salad, so that's my dinner. I'm almost tempted to sleep like this, but I am in bear country and the bugs are kind of bad. <laughs> so, I don't have a bug screen yet, but it's pretty tempting, pretty tempting to do this. I can also hear this uh, <clears throat> spring hooter back up behind me somewhere. And he's been there. <clears throat> he's been up there hooting all night last night and he was hooting last night like afternoon and evening so he's still at it busy guy he's looking for a mate it is springtime you know that that spring mating season <laughs> anyway <laughs> now i'm thinking about mating <laughs> Mm-hmm. 